Okay, so let's turn on Do Not Disturb real quick. Okay, so for the last part of this trig assignment, for 19 to 30, you have to use your calculator to find the angles. So I've told you all before to download the Desimo Scientific Calculator app, so that's what I have up on my phone and in this video. Um, so to find the angle measures, you have to do the inverse um sign so like for number 19 you do inverse sign and then you go back to your main screen and do 0.46 close your parenthesis and then that gives you your answer um back in like number 11 to do your regular sine cosine tangent functions that's when you use the regular sine cosine and tangent key so like the sine of 28.4 gives you that. Um, when you plug in for sine and cosine, um, your answer should always be less than one. Um, if you have to do secant, cosecant, and cotangent, what you have to do is um, you have to do one divided by sine of like 28.4. So that would be your cosecant. Those inverse buttons don't mean that you're using the inverse function. They just mean that you are finding the angle measure instead. So you always have to use those um, sine, cosine, tangent to the negative one keys. So these right here that I'm just going to click all of. Don't do that because that will break your calculator. But those are the ones you use in 19 to 30.